And are you Jennifer Mora? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Mora, I'm showing you what's entitled Application for Deferred Adjudication or Community Supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Yes, did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes, ma'am. And yes, ma'am. Did you understand you're charged with the offense of possession of a controlled substance penalty group one, one gram to four grams. That's a third degree felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from two to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Yes, ma'am. Did you understand that the court would grant your application for deferred adjudication if for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked, the court could fine you guilty and sentence you up to 10 years, uh, 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine? Yes, ma'am. According to the plea, there's a $250 fine. The state recommends deferred adjudication and there's to be regular and random drug testing. Yes, ma'am, I understand. Then to the offenses charge, how do you plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. State any evidence? State all for state specific one in all attachments. Any objections? No objection. No. All right, you may continue to confer. All right, after reviewing state's exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty. The court will defer finding of guilt as you have applied for deferred adjudication. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Yes, sir. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Your Honor, my client tells me she's not going to have anything else to do with drugs and that she's going to do everything this court tells her to do. And she has sat here all morning and seen you, saw you sentencing people well on deferred. All right. So uh, what is happening with this case that's out of Fayette County? Um, Fayette County was, uh, when this case happened, they had arrested me for the Fayette County warrant. Um, I was pulled. I was pulled over and I was put on. Uh, I was put on probation in Fayette County for eight years, and I just switched it over here. This happened whenever I was arrested during the Fayette County warrant. Um, I more or less they gave me a ticket, and I didn't know if that was what was going on with that. I moved uh, to Chicago. I came back, and I had a warrant. I had. I had no idea. And then so you I, don't know what's happening with Fayette County. Oh no, I'm on I'm on probation with Fayette County. Oh, counsel, do you want to have a seat? Through, uh, through. Again, it's moving to All right, thank you. I'm on probation with Fayette County through here. I have uh, uh my officer uh what's her name? Louis Louis on Louis. So what's happening with that case? I'm on, Does she I'm have on a probation. warrant for that? No, 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 okay. I'm good. I'm I'm good. She's gonna actually my probation officer for now is gonna be my probation officer for here too. They're gonna put it together. All right. Do you have any children? I do, I have grandchildren too. All right, what are your children's ages? Um 26 and 29. All right. Uh why why the tears? I don't understand. I want to take this on the for my grandbabies. No, I mean you need to do it for yourself. Well, because yeah. how old are your grandchildren? My grandchildren are one and six months. All right. So, I mean, you have to do it for yourself. When's the last time you've seen your grandchildren? Christmas. <laughs> if you're drug tested today, what are the results going to be? And before you even say, you're going to get drug tested today. So just be honest with me. And they should be negative. <laughs> All right. What do you mean should be? They're not going to be negative. When's the last time you used? Uh, it's been a while. What's a while? Uh, marijuana wise, probably about, I smoked probably about a month and a half ago. Mm -hmm. um, and it was very little. And besides that, I should be okay. <laughs> it, I mean, it's out in 30 days. So, Are you employed? Uh, yes. What do you do? Um, I'm, I'm doing punch out and clean up for a construction company. CNF construction. All right. Any questions? No, you don't. Okay. This is what the court is going to do. It's going to be eight years deferred adjudication. $250 fine. That will be probated. I'm going to want a TAP evaluation. Uh, follow TAP results. I'm sorry, recommendation. If they're asking for inpatient treatment, we're going to start with intensive outpatient treatment. If they're asking for outpatient treatment, we're still going to start with intensive outpatient treatment. 100 hours of community service restitution. Proof of employment. Within 30 days. 
there should be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. There should be no unsupervised contact with minors. I'm going to order parenting classes. Once she completes the parenting classes and the 100 hours of community service, restitution will be deemed satisfied. I'm assuming you want, yes. Uh, about the parenting classes and yes. no unsu uh, unsupervised visits with minors. I watch my grandbaby on Mondays and, and Tuesdays. I have to or my daughter can't work. I can't have you watching children until your life is in order and I deem that it's in order. Well, these are my grandchildren. I understand that. Let me ask you something. Do you love your grandchildren? Of course I love my grandchildren. A lot. But my daughter has but to wait, wait, Let me ask you this. Do you love your grandchildren? Yes. Do you love them a lot? Yes. All right. So would you just let anybody take care of them? No, I'm the only venue she well, no, has no, no. right now. My question is, would you just let anybody take care of them? Of course not. All right. So let's say I come to your house and you want me to take care of your grandchildren because something came up, you can't do it. And your grandchildren love me. I got great references, right? And you watch me, you have cameras, you say, Stephanie, we want you. And I say, great. And then I tell you, there's something I didn't tell you. Uh, I was out with the fugitive task force and they came to a hotel and arrested me and there was meth everywhere. Well, my, my daughter understands this. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. Sometimes family members understand things and I don't know why people do this with children. With children, people don't plan to have children. They have no idea, okay, I need daycare because I got to work or either I'm not going to work. So how am I going to support my children? And guess what they end up doing? They end up getting whoever they can get to babysit their children. They're like, oh, it's a relative. I know she's used mm -hmm. drugs in the past. I know it was meth. I know it was marijuana. I know she's on probation for that. I know a fugitive task force just picked her up. But the answer is no, I can't have that. Because you know what? I guarantee you, God forbid something happens to your grandchildren while they're in your care. And you know what the first question is going to be asked? Well, who, what judge would allow her, Man. not even done treatment, to babysit a one-year-old and a six-month-old? And I know how one-year-olds and six-month-olds are. I have a niece who's two. I love her. She is so them. demanding. But the answer is no. Those are my rules. All right, parenting classes. Once you started on parenting classes, once you started your treatment, then the court will reconsider. But for now, there's to be no unsupervised contact with minors. If you have unsupervised contact with minors, what's going to end up happening is a motion to revoke is going to be filed. And you're looking at 10 years in the prison. There's going to be field visit, random one time per month. What? There is to be random UAs or either a patch. Regular reporting by Zoom or in person. Uh, probation, is there anything else you need? No, Your Honor. All right. Anything else you need from the court? No. All right. I guess, and we can go off the record. I know you think I'm being harsh. I'm not listening. But I am listening. It's just the grand but, thing. Yeah. But part of my job is to protect the community. And sometimes people don't consider children part of the community. Many times people consider children as property. Like I tell them what to do and that's what they need to do. But a one-year-old and a six-month-old can't take care of themselves. You can't just put them at Travis Park and say, I've had you. Good luck to you. And for some reason, I don't know what's wrong with people. They do not put children first. That it, it's just sort of like a handbag or something. Yeah. Uh, let me dress this child up. Look, they're so pretty. And then they're on their own. Yeah. But what I can tell you is when I would have clients that I've represented on CPS sites, moms who had drug issues, I would always tell them, this is where you are at the point in your life now. We're trying to get you better and get you over this so you can get your children back. So where you are at the point in your life is the Fugitive Task Force had to go pick you up at a hotel. And when they go to the hotel, That's there's meth and everything. That's a problem, right? That is so, a problem then. Yeah. So you have to prove to me that okay. you should be in the children's lives unsupervised. If you can prove that to me, I'll allow it to happen. All right?
Thank you. Miguel Mesa. Thank you. Thank you. Good Happy seeing year. you. Happy New Year. It's always good seeing you, Bill.